Hey guys, what's up? Today we're out here finding a traditional geocache. So let's get going. So a traditional geocache is a geocache located at the posted coordinates and it's just a little container you have to find. Now there might be a field puzzle, but not usually. So we are at ground zero here. I've logged and did not find on this cache before because I looked over there, but not over here. But now I think I know where it might be. So let's flip it. And voila. So right here we have a little pill container, so let's see what's inside of it. So let's open her up. Intense struggling. So starting off, we have a little marble right here. Pretty cool. And then this little paper. A little button. We have a cute little eraser. We have a bracelet and a couple more little things. Now in geocaching, you always have to sign a logbook. The cache didn't include one, so I brought a replacement. Now with the cache log signed, it's just time to put it back and go to the next cache. Logging the geocache. So now we're walking about a third of a mile to the next cache. So there are five geocaches in the park. I found four of them, but now we're about to go and avenge another DNF. So we're at a pretty beautiful park in Wilmington, North Carolina called Olson Park. And we're walking that way. Pretty nice birdhouse over there. Now we just gotta walk across this whole entire field. There was a cache over here, but it went missing and got archived. We're at ground zero over by this fast flowing creek. And people are saying coordinates are off by about 35 feet. So we're just gonna be searching the general area. Around here. Let's go. So I'm searching over here and the cache seems to be missing. Which sucks, but we're gonna have to log a DNF. Oh well. And geocaching, DNFs always happen. Hopefully this one can be replaced or archived so we can have another cache to find. Wonder if there's any fish in there. Today at the park, we're also gonna be hiding a geocache in the form of a nano. So the park has a disabled baseball field for disabled people. And we have this perfect magnetic shipping container. I'm thinking that we can hide it anywhere on the bottom of this container. So I feel like the most inconspicuous place to put it, where absolutely almost no one would see it other than geocachers, would be either under or right in here. I think it's perfect. So I found a spot and I'm going to submit it. All we have to do is go to geocaching.com, type in the information, and a community volunteer reviewer will publish it. If you've watched this far into the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day.